10 Morning Habits That Can Ruin Your Day Wake up on the wrong side of the bed this morning? Perhaps it's because you're guzzling down a bunch of coffee or jumping in a hot shower right after you wake up. Here are some things you should never do in the morning to ensure you start your day off on the right foot. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and turn on post notifications to join us here on The Bright Side. 10. Hitting the snooze button There's no sound more awful than your alarm clock going off at 6 in the morning, except for maybe the second time you hear it 10 minutes later. While we're all guilty of it, smashing that snooze button is a surefire way to start your day off all wrong. That's because when you fall back asleep in between alarms, you enter into a new sleep cycle without completing it. This makes you feel even more groggy and disoriented than you did when you awoke to your first alarm. According to sleep expert Adam Tishman, waking up to an alarm for a second or third time can really confuse your brain causing a foggy feeling known as inertia. This inertia sticks with you for the rest of the day, meaning you'll be feeling sleepy for hours to come. So next time your alarm goes off, as hard as it may be, just take a deep breath, get up and get going. 9. Checking your phone when you first open your eyes in the morning, you can't fight the urge to see what's new on social media. While this is a very common morning habit for most of us, looking at your phone right after you open your eyes can cause you to feel unnecessary stress and anxiety before you even get up to brush your teeth. This can set you up to be in a bad mood for the rest of the day, leaving you with an unclear head. The same goes for checking your emails right after waking up. Instead of sleeping with your phone on your nightstand or even under your pillow, leave it in the other room so that you're not tempted to scroll through it in bed. Get your morning started and try not to glance at your phone until you're having breakfast. It may be a hard habit to break, but you'll be glad you did. 8. Drinking coffee first thing while there isn't anything wrong with enjoying a steaming cup of joe in the morning, this shouldn't be the first thing you sip on after waking up. Go for a glass of water instead, at least as your first beverage of the day. Not only does this hydrate you after hours of not drinking anything, it also gives your metabolism a nice kickstart. Drinking water right after you wake up is also great for your gut since it flushes out any toxins that were sitting in your body as you slept. It also helps prevent constipation. And according to Raina Badene, a nutritionist and author of The 111 Diet, drinking water first thing in the morning increases your alertness as well. The first glass of water actually regulates body and brain function, which can influence your mood for the day. Just be sure the water is at room temperature so that it doesn't shock your body and close it off to receiving all those great H2O benefits. 7. Not making the bed While this is a super quick and easy task you can do every morning, a lot of us skip on it. Many people think that making their bed is pointless. You're just going to get back in it later, so why waste time making it? Who's going to see it anyway? Well, even so, making your bed can actually set you up for success. By making your bed every morning, you're completing a healthy ritual that will carry you into your day. You'll be more productive and motivated to tackle the day ahead. 6. Eating empty carbs and sugar for breakfast Remember back in school when they'd say breakfast was the most important meal of the day? Well, they were right. Eating a healthy, hearty breakfast is a great way to set yourself up for the day ahead. While a croissant or donut is easy to eat on the go, these sugar-filled treats will give you energy that doesn't last very long at all. Once your blood sugar crashes, you'll be left feeling even more tired than you did before you ate. Instead, opt for a protein-rich breakfast, 
This will keep you fuller for longer, and it'll give you long-lasting energy to keep you productive and focused all day long. Or at least until that after-lunch crash. 5. Leaving the curtains closed Bright light in the morning isn't always welcome. Plus, you need to give your tired eyes some time to adjust, right? Believe it or not, bringing a little light to your room in the morning is a great way to wake yourself up. According to life coach Kirkland Shave, natural sunlight releases cortisol in the body, which helps you concentrate and make smart decisions throughout the day. If you choose to get ready for your day in darkness, your body's inner clock can get confused and assume it's still nighttime. This means your brain will stay in sleep mode, leaving you feeling sluggish for the rest of the morning and even into the afternoon. 4. Saving stretches and exercises for the evening When you wake up in the morning, doesn't it feel awesome to get a good stretch? That's because you're releasing fluid that's accumulated in your spinal discs and cause them to expand. This, in turn, can leave you feeling stiff, especially in your back. That's why it's a great idea to slowly stretch after you wake up. Don't do any strenuous exercising or stretching first thing in the morning, though. You can hurt yourself since your muscles and discs aren't warmed up yet. Once you do some very gentle stretching and go about your morning, you can begin your exercise routine. People who exercise in the morning tend to stick with their routine more than people who work out in the evening. That's because you can come up with a bunch of excuses not to work out as the day progresses. And according to a 2014 study conducted by Dick Jones Communications, exercising in the morning helps people to better manage their work-life balance. And this reduces their stress levels. So even if you are a bit tired, push yourself to get a little exercise. Your body and mind will thank you. 3. Brushing your teeth after breakfast Isn't it logical to brush your teeth after your first meal of the day? That way, you get rid of all that food stuck in your teeth. Brushing your teeth after breakfast may do more harm than good. You see, if you've consumed something acidic like coffee or fruit, that acid thins the enamel of your teeth. That's why it's best to brush those pearly whites just after you wake up. 2. Making phone calls Are you in the mood to have long chats with someone first thing in the morning? Yeah, neither is anybody else. That's why it's best to save important phone calls for late in the morning instead of early on. People need time to wake up and get their bearings before they can think about important things to talk about on the phone. It's best to wait until about 9.30 a.m. to start making phone calls. If you absolutely have to reach out to someone, it's always a safe bet to shoot them a text or email so that they know what to expect when you do pick up the phone and call them. Hey, it's all about manners. 1. Taking a hot shower Ah, a nice hot shower feels so great after you wake up. But it doesn't exactly wake you up now, does it? That's because the heat of the water tells your body to relax its muscles. It can even slow down your heart rate. Once this happens, you'll feel really relaxed and even sleepy. But you can't go back to bed. It's time to head to work or school. While it may sound unappealing at first, taking a quick cold shower is a much better alternative. Not only does it never fail to wake you up, it also puts you in a good mood. No joke! The cold makes your brain release feel-good endorphins and natural adrenaline. If you can't stomach a cold shower, at least take a lukewarm one. Just try not to hang out in there too long. Which of these habits will be the hardest for you to break? Let us know down in the comments! Before you go, remember to give this video a like, share it with your friends, and click subscribe to stay on the Bright Side of Life!